to take the, his report as part of our lecture today to, to check what is the available data that will be used or to be declared or to be shown uh, in the report so that it can represent the real application towards the energy efficiency uh, report for energy audit. Okay, content in the report, overview, the description, historical and function, the profile and energy questioning, data collection, finding and recommendation, and conclusion. Okay, so that uh, if you become an auditor, okay, so of course, at the end of your session, you need to produce a report. So you may refer this kind of content or outline. Uh, uh, to be reported to the top management as a part of your finding. Okay? But of course, you need to do this a uh, very structured way, which is you need to, um, to have this kind of outline. Okay. Okay, so overview, uh, building description, historical. Overview means that uh, that the, the basic basic um, introduction or background related to the project dedicated or specifically to the project base building description meaning that uh, you are doing the, the particular building so we need, then we need to give some sort of the overview what is the maybe the size the capacity of the building so that they can interpret uh, all the results accordingly with your the given or analysis later. Okay. Historical energy consumption. This the I would say must have or uh, in your report, which is you show to the management or to the those appoint you as a auditor uh, to mention that you this is the data that you obtain before any improvement or suggestion from the auditor team. Okay. So that it will give you some sort of idea how bad the current situation or the previous situation or what you are looking for to improve the system perhaps or else uh, maybe to show that drastically improvement there will be a approach or they will propose to the organization so that the historical engine consumption is a quite critical uh, I would say must have uh, in whichever report for the energy audit, just a part of the tangible comparison, okay, uh, tangible comparison uh, before and after the okay. Yet, uh, load profile and energy apportioning, okay, so it's also good to have because while you're having the historical data, okay, but normally in the form of the very basic or crude data but then you need to do some sort of finalize okay, uh, by put in the form of maybe daily basis or monthly basis or machine basis or line operation basis just uh, to monitor to investigate uh, what is the real or actual condition by each uh, dedicated uh, item you want to investigate for example uh, let's say you want to investigate machine so you may go for the load profile for each machine, for example, or you may investigate the consumption uh, based on the uh, monthly basis. So you have uh, all the equipment or all the electricity consumption by monthly basis uh, consumption. And yet, you also need to have uh, energy apportioning. Energy apportioning uh, means that, uh, let's say, uh, you have, um, obviously, I'll try to sketch there. Uh, let's say you have uh, this one considering the 100% of the uh, utilization of your electricity at your organization. In that particular organization, you'll be outdated. Uh, perhaps this, this is okay. yes. perhaps the electricity. 
due to the air conditioning system. Okay, conditioning system. Fine. And then this one, let's say, uh, only for lighting, for example. So, uh, by having this kind of energy apportioning, means that we want to trigger the highest or the biggest issue, which is the acceleration. Okay, so do not go for the less or small portion of energy consumption. Let's say this one is the first, let's say, a laptop okay, or desktop or whatever, okay, which is consume a uh, less percentage of uh, consumption. So we go for the highest consumption uh, for this case, uh, condition system. So that's why we need to perform the energy operation so that we can know uh, which part to contribute or need to be tackled uh, to reduce the energy consumption. And data collection, of course, uh, can be done uh, by your team of auditors by using your own equipment. Or rank other system or use the existing signal at that particular organization if available to capture uh, the actual data uh, during your visit and maybe after the suggested improvement has been implemented so that you can see uh, the remainders or the slightly changes by having the kind of approach. And yet, uh, finding a recommendation. Okay. Maybe some of the improvement or the suggestion uh, cannot be applied due to the related to the uh, investment or need to buy the things related to the, the another sensor, another machinery, or the other system. Uh, so that you cannot do the uh, study on the day. But then you can recommend the suggestion and the recommendation uh, towards the good of the organization by proving all the investment should be gained with the worth of investment or in the term of the ROI or return of investment, which is able to promise the top management uh, to, to consider the recommendation. And then, of course, your finding will be during your preliminary audit or maybe during your desktop audit. Okay, so you can try to point out what's your observation, which is you think can be equal. Okay, and maybe the, the method of saving the energy, or uh, they just like, switch off the, the, the switch or the fan or the lighting during the rest or during the change over the over time. So at once we try to mention or we try to uh, highlight uh, during your finding uh, because it can be done uh, straight away. So we really can do the conversation of the of the solution. And yet of course the conclusion normally we go for three types of conclusion either um, in general, of the total energy can be saved. Okay, so we'll be making all the recommended uh, increment or accumulation. Okay, so you do expect to be able to do guys. Okay, so overview. Uh, overview means that the related to the particular company, okay, Mega Jati, Consult, Mega Hat, Concept, so let's say Mega Jati is here, so Mega Jati, let's say this is our class, the IDG, is that, uh, was appointed to conduct an IDG audit, to submit the study at 8 minute previously police, okay, so 8, we need to define what is 8, 8 refer to the 8 faculty, so combination of the faculty and the library on the other's lecture hall or something for it to office. So we need to, to clarify this one for the more than scattered in that building in police in Sukhum, provided by School of Environment in the Iraq was the layer the actual content of the something and investigate the awareness of being 
Appreciate abang tu ini fokus tu. Oh, suara doktor lekat-lekat. Lain saya problem tu. Uh, everybody, uh, how about my son? From from your side, is that same as experience by Z? You may refer to the chat box there. Is that okay? Ready? G? Oh, problem. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, but for your information, guys, today I'm conducting this class uh, in a new term, I mean, at the office. All right. So, previously, uh, during the clear version, I hope, previously, uh, at my house. <laughs> okay. to share it again. Previously, I'm sharing all the slides at my house. I don't know if the slide is worse compared to the slide in my house. Which is better, guys? Uh, this line or the line? Okay, I'm going to the line of the faculties are there. Hello guys, can you hear me? No. Oh, 
Okay, thank you. Better, better. So already um, out and enter back your your. Okay, we try to share the content, guys. Okay. Try to con share the content. Can you see the the slide? Okay. So this is the challenge eh? using the slide. Hey guys, can you hear? Can you get? I will try to check your chatting box. Eh? Chatting box, make sure. Okay, dengar, dengar. Is that okay? So, can you see the slide? Eh? No problem. Okay, so, so for this, I'll try to record it back. Oh, uh, still running. It's running off the record. Okay, so. More than this, kept the minimum building in for list. Desire to know the actual condition of energy consumption, investigate the awareness of the among the building occupants. Okay. The audit is conducted by two approaches uh, aware questionnaire to the building occupant. Uh, normally, this one uh, related to the thermal comfort okay. and the data collection. Data collection observation using portable device. I declare uh, the approach they being conducted first by questionnaire okay, and secondly by the data question which of portable device. Portable device means that maybe they try to bring their own facility or equipment or gadget okay, uh, to, to, to do the monitoring uh, at the Unimap. And then all the finding everything, uh, they may refer to the MS 1525-7 and GBI rating, machine GBI rating as a comparison. Okay. Uh, GBI rating means that GBI refer to the green building index okay, as a comparison. Meanwhile, Electrical Supply Act 1990 and Efficient Management of Electrical Energy Regulation 2008 are used as to overall objective in this coding. Okay, so this is the overview of how they perform of the uh, coding. Okay, by mentioning the approach, by mentioning the references that they are trying to compare with, so that they can have uh, standardized of uh, instrument for all results from the very various of uh, maybe faculty or maybe the office or building. Okay. So you need also to declare your team member. Okay. So they say you are as a leader, Mama Arkham Bin So then you can go for your whoever team member you want to do. And also the task, data collection, data entry, data collection, data entry. Okay. Uh, Head of auditor, data collection, data analysis, building design overview, basic design, element observation, finding and recommendation. So this person in charge. Okay. So and also a draft of the process, fact finding, initial measurement, awareness interview. This one is the interview refer to the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Questionnaire. And also data collection from the portable designs. And then based on this outcome and this outcome, it may conclude what is the best 
Oh, the case of eight thirteen in Unimed or University of Malaysia Police. Okay. Okay, but in description, uh, maybe you can have uh, some sort of the Google Map in terms of the area view or in the view. Okay, you so they try to determine which is the uh, exact location and they try to break down the detail, building, the amount of development, okay, number of staff, uh, administration, finance, or engineering, which is faculty and administration, number of level of them, okay, compartment in the case of building, completion, which is a free, occupied uh, area. Occupied area means that the area that covered by the person who work in there. Okay, let's see. Uh, that particular area is a parking. Uh, so they are not counted as a part of the occupied area because parking, uh, do I have any person who work at that particular area? Again? Just the part of the car. Okay. So uh, that is the mention about the occupied area. Okay guys, uh, next, uh, historical energy consumption. Uh, so they may take uh, one year result in case 12 months. Monthly estimated physical consumption and cost from March 2012 to February 2013. Okay, so this is the thing. March. Okay, and then 12 months. And in that, they try to get the historical energy consumption, yet try to be compare uh, for the next following uh, uh, month, okay, uh, estimated uh, kilowatt hour, okay, and cost, okay. Uh, so when we see the hour, kilowatt hour, right, kilowatt hour, means that the utilization of the energy, okay, meaning that they use the energy and how long it takes uh, to use the energy, so they put kilowatt hour, okay. and then the total for one year is. 300 to 400 to kilowatt hour. The cost uh, mostly up to 78,000. Okay, and then you try to put in a form of graph, which is on your left hand side, uh, is the uh, power, kilowatt hour. Okay, kilowatt hour. And your right hand side is the uh, cost of bill. So you may exchange either one you want, but the good part, they try to combine graph in a simple way so that you can easily understand by having this kind of graph. So far, any question guys? So far, go ahead. And then after that, uh, after the do the historical data, then they go for the load profile and energy apportioning, uh, estimate building, okay, and use energy apportioning. Apportioning based on the measurement of the board distribution during auditing. Okay, so they claim that the apportioning, uh, the, the, the division of the electrical consumption based on the measurement during the auditing. Okay, so they are not doing the apportioning based on the historical data, but they do their own data collection by measuring the distribution board, okay, board of distribution, uh, to ensure that they have the actual condition of utilization. Okay, building and use and apportioning and use load, that's one. Lighting, twenty percent. Air conditioning, 64%, office equipment, 10%, others 4%. Total, 100%, which is 332,402 kilowatt hour. Burning energy index, uh, 287 kilowatt hour per meter square per year, compared to benchmark BPI, 90, 250 for green burning. So, in other words, uh, comparing to the standard of the benchmark from the GDI, you can refer to the green building index 
okay so recommend in the range of 90 to 150 okay for the claim of green building so let's say this particular building obtain uh, 287 kilo hour meters per year which is over than the 150 which is there's a huge of utilization of the energy which is um, need to be discovered what is the most possible cost uh, due to that high numbers of BEI or BEI refer to the uh, building building energy index okay. building index meaning that building index means that um, they have the I would say um, a range of recommendation uh, that particular or each building need to fall in okay for example uh, BEI for office building but same as the library because library have their own BEI office building have their own BEI uh, hospital have their own BEI um, what else? Uh, fast food fast food uh, the restaurant have their own BEI okay so but when you exceed the recommended BEI meaning that you are over consumed your energy so that is the basic you need to understand okay so higher energy use and then after they go for the this detail okay so they try to make it in the form of the pie chart okay so then they can see easily what is the higher consumption of the energy the profile and energy apportioning as they building and use energy apportioning application based on the measure that people got in the auditing so by having this kind of pie chart by knowing the major contribution of energy consumption is air conditioning and lighting okay air conditioning air conditioning and lighting the portion of saving is obtainable for this element so that uh, after you go for this apportioning so then you need to try to reduce or try to overcome the issue they say you are claiming from the graph or from the pie chart mention that the air conditioning is the highest consumption so then you need to settle the things related to the air conditioning okay do not go for the others lah. because the others is slightly a very low percentage which is might perhaps not significant changes uh, for the improvement okay but for the air conditioning system or perhaps for the lighting as well uh, they have the big opportunity to be improved so that you can have the obvious changes or improvement that you show to the top management so this is the activity that we conducted uh, data collection using the portable measurement uh, equipment okay so this one uh, uh, airflow. Okay, airflow maybe they try to investigate the air conditioning in airflow uh, okay should be reduced or higher based on the uh, thermal comfort or the person uh, at that particular area and this one okay so this one is the lux meter lux meter to check the uh, luminance illuminance at that particular building or area so that let's say that particular building have the over illuminance means that you need to reduce the lux of the lamp okay or else maybe that particular places very low of lux or irradiance or uh, illuminance sorry uh, so they need to put another lamp to increase the lux or illuminance so that it meet the standard of the the this thing to try to go in back and after this one ms1525 2007 okay again so Uh, yet uh, this one this pistol uh, quite popular right now they 
it try to shut the temperature uh, okay so uh, let's say you want to ensure on that particular temperature is suitable or not using the temperature gun yeah and then try to do the measurement so that you can know the actual condition in your office building okay so after they find out all the historical data all the apportioning result and all the measure by the measurement and then they try to do some sort of reaction and so they suggest uh, for the building passive strategies okay but strategy means that passive shall be used and replace the product tinted film to see through uv protected film to encourage more delighting inside building but where on the solar heat gain okay so they, they, i think this is the issue because they try to use the dark filter. They need light on the light. So shading facet. Okay, shading is that. Uh, try to put the so-called like uh, blockage. Uh, uh, not that opaque blockage. Maybe a transparent or something. Penetrate the light from the sun. Light. Uh, light from the sun. Uh, to to give the uh, lighting, natural lighting for that particular building or that particular office. Okay? So to encourage more daylight inside the building. Okay? But of course, you need to get meaning that uh, when you receive all the light from the sun, which is your uh, mostly the heat gain from the light. So of what that to compromise the balance related to the light and also the heat. Okay, and then next thing a recommendation building process strategy. Uh, relocate the system for that the lighting not be blocking either natural lighting or artificial lighting. Meaning that uh, try to do all this racking. Okay, okay, move the racking, um, which blockage the sun ray. Or natural lighting uh, to light the room okay by having this kind of thing okay maybe remove the curtain this one is curtain and remove the curtain so that you can have the very bright uh, in the storage or the documentation room okay. and then uh, of course Identify the potential daylighting zone and you trust the daylight instead of the using artificial light. Rearrange the floor layout and space of the daylighting from outside. Okay, just do some sort of arrangement of the office layout so that you can have the better uh, natural sun or lighting resource okay? from the outside to enter to light up the office. Okay. And of course, recommendation, uh, some activity, active strategy, introduce timer setting uh, for air conditioning. Okay. Timer setting is that uh, maybe during the people uh, load on a bit, uh, maybe depends on the occupant in the room. Uh, more people, uh, higher setting, no, or less people, or maybe one or two people go for the minimum setting. Okay. For instance, if we affect in total, okay, if it will not in use, not occupant. So that's the thing, part of the story. Okay, we find it information so activity, we repartition, repartition of our office space, especially in the area where the lighting do not utilize. So the area near the window, no require switch for the light during the time. So using the natural lighting okay, from the outside to give the light inside the room so that you can save a lot of the electricity uh, to light up the, the, the light. Okay, finding a recommendation activity. 
plug and lead to open the Windows Store solution. Maintain the light fitting by reaching the faulty part to ensure sufficient light that will be The lights is that the illuminate uh, the how clear you can see all the things or works related to the cooking uh, environment. Okay, so this is the thing. Right, but, okay. So this one I'm trying to fix it. Uh, they say if you check over consume in top of the lab, so you may off this one only only on this one. And then this one, they say you need the lighting from outside, so put some part of the stopper here so that you can have a better airflow, perhaps, or maybe the lighting from the outside. Finding the recognition behavior and awareness. Okay. So put uh, if you notice uh, some of the layer we put uh, the or the institution or the organization may put the awareness stick uh, just beside the switch. Okay, switch it off, okay, switch it off, okay. give me a hand, I can switch myself, maybe severe reminding. Okay. So this kind of activity needs to be implemented. Uh, it's a part of the reporting activity for the audit uh, task. Okay. So campaign planning and execution and poster notice to post safety test to improve awareness and activity in mark of group. Okay, uh, finding a recommendation. We found that three building has separate energy meter, but with more intention to measure different block energy. This highly recommended recommend to change the system. From block connected to by loop connected to help in energy management and okay. So, this is the suggestion from the RBT. All this low cost action is estimated to reduce energy by 10%. Okay. They mentioned specifically the percentage. It's due to the possibility to decrease the BI as for high 287 to become 250 as applicable in same building category as audited building. So next, uh, finding a recommendation. Okay. Next approach. Since lighting is for number two category, first is the condition stuff, secondly is the lighting. Then you use this building, mitigate the lighting from normal to two times four double horizon to energy saving fitting is desired next. Okay. So meaning that you need to do some sort of calculation to ensure that you are able uh, to produce the same flux or meet the requirement of MS 10525 2007. Okay, all fitting to 1543, 12,000 watt, 12.5 kilowatt, for existing Okay. And then after that, finding the recommendation uh, support to change the overall light fitting to electric balance with P5. So uh, after they notice uh, the light is a part of the higher consumption of the electricity, they propose to change uh, recommendation uh, to change the the light. Okay, so this one for luminous with one M. One lamp, two lamp, okay. So from 30 power to 46, okay. So 143 and 46.2. Okay. 7 kilowatt. Okay, which is, for fitting this one, uh, 12.5 kilowatt, which is more safer. Uh, yeah, this one, yeah. 7 kilowatt. Okay, so I install lighting, uh, this one, and then propose the new type of lighting, okay, this one, okay, and then they try to calculate the saving related to the changes, so from 1, minus 7.5, 4 kilowatt, potential saving from new lighting, okay, and okay. we propose the new lighting, okay, in case 5.4, Divide by 12.5 or 43% potential saving. And then 0.37 from the total consumption 
yearly basis based on the or based on the your historical data. You can get uh, mostly saving on twenty thousand lower hour per year, which is in the form of dollars or ringgit. You can go saving up to nine thousand per year. Okay, so guys, now try to convert all the things that we try to improve in all of the money wise. Okay, monetary. Uh, because uh, some of the people they are not in the basic of the background of engineering, right? So by having conversion of the due to the um, money. So most of the people uh, will understand easily, okay? Because they convert all the savings in the form of the same indicator, which is can be interpreted easily by the other department or other section, which is uh, not related as well in the form of the uh, energy engineering background. Okay, and then go to the sample payback period, okay? Like fitting, forty five ringgit installation, forty ringgit estimate installation. Okay, uh, of course, seventy five three times seventy five, eleven thousand. Okay, and then potential saving from new lighting. Okay. Almost one point three years. Okay, and then uh, one year plus. Huh? One year plus. So let's say for let's say. After that one year plus or 1.3 years, uh, after that, you can gain all the benefit by installation of the T5 Okay, NEB, okay, environmental saving. Uh, okay. This one is related to the carbon emission. Okay, knowing that the carbon uh, is saving of kilowatt, uh, estimated and detailed into the saving of the PO2 emission, 440 grams emission. And then potential estimated CO2 saving from E5 in that you just convert. Okay, we just convert the utilization of 29,000 lower hour per year divided by 24 hours. And then we can get the 1 to 1 3 kilowatt per year. And then we try to times the conversion of CO2 per kilowatt so that we can get 890. Seven kilogram a year estimated of CO two we receive. Okay, so in other words, you try to convince your management by two ways of category. Firstly, the product cost, and secondly, due to the environmental uh, study. Okay, and then finding a recommendation as well. Uh, no, know, knowing that the air conditioning. Contribute up to 60%. So they try to propose the engineering control to avoid any wastage okay, due to the bad humid habit. Uh, then try to put the timer switch. Timer switch means that they say that particular office only running two to five. All right. So previously, maybe they need to off it manually, but unfortunately, maybe. One of the one fine days, uh, the last person did not switch off the switch, so that uh, will be waste uh, for quite some time uh, until the next morning operation, right? So by having the control, so that we can become the trigger switch to stop the operational uh, by not depending on the factor of human. Find a recommendation, quick view, okay, for total control for corridor lighting. Okay, so meaning that let's say the lighting maybe total cell due to the let's say they have an object uh, or the person over there, then the, the corridor will be light up. Motion sensor, perhaps okay, sensor, reduce the heat gain of the machining, so be ventilator okay, to minimize the heat production. To the ceiling panel for the top building. Introduce remote passive daylighting to area which can be reached by natural daylighting. Reward the unit member the energy target is achieved. 
potential record and monitor the end user. So the general general recommendation uh, uh, which refer to the good practice uh, if you want to implement uh, the energy saving activity. Okay, sorry. Uh, you can divide it into a two group, which is the low cost and the medium cost. Low cost only they will go for the very uh, systematic approach, which is using the passive design. Okay, try to rearrange or to shading the chain. Okay, we locate into the arrangement, because the lighting, change the nature block, maintenance well, awareness campaign. Okay, so this is the low cost. Medium cost, of course, uh, uh, they try to test by changing the D5 light system. Okay, impose the automatic timer. Okay, uh, apply the motion sensor. Okay, and stability the maintenance. Awareness and analysis control campaign control incentive remark success check and review so that they also request uh, to do the continuous monitoring and collecting the data to ensure that they until they always fall in the acceptable range of utilization specifically for the energy demand. Conclusion given all the measures taken to use the energy efficient. Question is imposed. The benefactor that contribute to the success rate is human behavior, okay, which is uh, awareness. But I think uh, the awareness comes from the human behavior. So that's why this is the thing that will be make a huge difference of the successful in the implementation of the energy management. By understanding the electrical energy wasted, okay, somehow relate to the narrative renewable fossil fuel generation somewhat or far from their own features, some awareness they will have their own features and results to put a new efficient picture in the video. Okay. So that thank you for the first slide. Any question guys related to the sample of the energy report? Is that clear? Okay, okay, good, uh, good, huh? uh, good, very good, good, very 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 good, the last, what is it? The last part of lecture, actually. So this one is the more general. So just now we go for the chapter four, which is the last chapter. So this one is a uh, should be shorter compared to the one. Okay. I will try to go this one uh, very quick. Okay. Uh, we take a break. Uh, five minutes. Then we come back later. Okay, I will try to set my charging battery is going low. I will try to fix it up first, then I will try to continue after. Okay, guys. Uh, so, shall we start? All right. Okay. So, uh, chapter four, energy audit part. Actually, uh, just now we have been learned uh, for part four of preparing the energy audit. So, just we get back for the part three, which is more simple. Okay, and the audit report and presentation. So, this is the step. Uh. So, this is the step that we've been need to perform for the energy audit okay successful carry out energy audit demand to report to the top management 
effective communication. So just imagine you are the auditor you need to prepare the report that we have been learned previously. So this is the I would say the the step the step you need to consider uh, to produce your report to be shown uh, to the top management. The report format should be tailored to make it more attractive to the top management. Okay. Uh, have the executive summary, okay, objective, scope of audit, summary, energy, serving recommendation, and management of energy, policy and target, energy data, compliance, okay, energy management team, energy audit. Energy management team means that uh, the, the company you have been investigated, and the energy audit team is, is your team. This team, okay, let's say you are the leader. And then you have the others member uh, to support you to help you to do the audit. And then, as I mentioned, uh, overview description of the process and production of your work have been conducted at that particular process, so that the uh, easy to the auditor to do their work according to the operation. Okay, and this is the information. Okay, uh, normally they will go for the electric supply and trend or pattern. Source and type of energy system you need is that you go for the machinery basis or building basis or plant basis. So it depends how you want to investigate your uh, your your auditing uh, process. Okay, maybe in terms of the cost or the supply or something. Utility system description, uh, brief, brief description of each utility system and major equipment. Okay, just go for the very brief in terms of the utility, okay, current energy performance or historical data you may put in your uh, presentation. And of course, uh, your your uh, your current uh, achievement based on your implementation or based on your um, uh, approach of solution the project. Okay, it might perhaps uh, due to the long term or medium term of uh, purpose of implementation. Okay, energy consumption information. Okay, the profile, as I mentioned just now. And chart, uh, if you still remember the apportioning approach, which is you do the pie chart, and then go for the, whichever the highest, let's say this one is the highest, try to trigger that one. Okay, estimated annual energy consumption and operating hours. It's a quite copy, uh, crucial because you need to know the operation hours because it will lead uh, to the energy consumption, right? It can be in the daytime or the day sh shift shift um, arrangement, meaning that they have a two shift, uh, maybe the daytime and the uh, nighttime, okay? I mean the, the uh, evening time. So, so that you need to, okay, to look it carefully. Basically, um, my search suggests the more information or data that you obtain, which leads to the better analysis. So you as an auditor may request your uh, that particular organization uh, to supply all the information so that you can go for the conclusion that tailor to the in your investigation. Okay, or else you, you what we are afraid we give the uh, summary or report that contradict with the actual or normal uh, approach or behavior uh, in the plan or in the organization. And the supply and consumption data or analysis, uh, conclusion from supply and consumption, suitable energy, okay, current energy performance. So it depends how you want to demonstrate this one. But basically, you need to put the historical data before the improvement so that uh, you can have uh, uh, evidence what is your recommendation or your purpose uh, successfully been achieved. Okay, and then uh, energy measure, survey measure, you may put all whatever survey measure, energy audit, okay, potential saving, energy saving, financial option, okay, no cost, high cost in terms of the, of the proposed energy saving measure and verification. Baseline means that the BEI, okay, body energy index. Okay, you may put that one as a part of your uh, benchmark or baseline measurement and verification method. 
Okay. Okay, so, so just skip this one. Okay, so this one is the define the energy saving measure. So let's say measure the speech. Okay. Um, uh, put the timer or something to ensure that there's no any problem or the by the human factor or attitude or the awareness. Okay. Awareness, user awareness. Okay, this one. Okay. Uh, prepare list to schedule everything. So, so this is the sample of the identification of the energy saving engine. Okay. Okay, so this is the another option. Um, and it's saving measure. Okay. Let's say you specifically want to investigate this kind of boiler. So then you need to know the whole process. Okay. So try to play around with the system so that to ensure that everything is working accordingly, or else you need to investigate the leaking, the trap, or the insulation. Okay. So in other words, they say you are appointed as a internal as, as an auditor. You also need to know the engineering background or the project that you want to uh, cover because some of the approach might be very technical so that by your own knowledge or experience might help or assist you to propose the best solution to overcome the issue related to the energy consumption. Okay. Okay, and then after you go your best recommendation, uh, try to convince a decision maker to play in the organization. Most decision makers uh, with no or little technical background in the read, more percent of the business and financial return. So this is the thing that we need to convert all the purpose in the form of uh, money. Okay, because some of them is not the engineering background. So they do not appreciate the things that related to the kilowatt hour perhaps uh, in terms of the uh, what uh, the 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 utilization or the the kilowatt or whatever time you save, but convert it into in the form of of uh, money. Okay. okay. Tips to coming into top management. Okay. So I think this one is a very common. Uh, for this other player support from the other key, prepare effective presentation. The presentation must be able to present confidently or convincingly. Try to highlight this element, okay? The high success, improvement, contribute profitability, economic benefit, and accessibility problem. Okay, so this is the other project related to the energy saving activity. Okay, so depends, depends how it works. Mostly it will relate to that cooling system which is a conditioning I think also have demand control and transform okay so this is the another sample of um, activity improvement for the energy so this one as well as example of successful EMS Indonesia pilot project for public lighting before and after okay. HID 250 after LED so just imagine before and after, even the HID is higher than the 150, but it seems like the LED light is right? So that's why maybe you can cope uh, to the um, the cost as well. So that's why they changed to the LED for the street lighting. So guys, uh, thank you very much. So we end the session. Um, Everybody, okay, clear. Uh, can we understand all the things? Any question? So stop sharing this one. Okay. Okay, guys.